Uh, uh, um, <laughs> um. Hey guys, it's Holy Shift Kid HSK Shift here with another Brig VOD review. Now this VOD, there's so much we need to go over. I was like, oh. So definitely you're gonna learn a lot about this one no matter what your rank is, just to brush up with some things, keep in mind some alt tracking and things that we gotta keep in mind throughout the game so that you can actually have effective courses of action and carry your games. So let's get started here. But thank you firstly so much to FN for giving me this code. If you want your VOD to be reviewed for the next one, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. And I normally ask it in the community tabs. When I ask for one, definitely be paying attention and leave a comment down for when you have one ready. All right, y'all, so let's start out. So we're playing break obviously hi we have Anna as our second support we're playing double bubble it looks like so right off the bat though so what we're gonna do is it's gonna be definitely a tank game it looks like it's a walk with tank game based on what the enemy team is going but we'll go over that in a second we're gonna keep packs on doom and pocket him we're gonna stand next to Zarya and we're gonna keep walking like that the enemy team has Ryan Hogg, Mercy Moira and Ash um McCree so there's not much that you're really going to be able to shut down you can definitely block hog hooks you're definitely going to want to do that and you're definitely going to want to kind of walk with your Zarya and help out to like 1v1 the Ryan because he's not going to have an off tank and your Zarya is basically the main tank kind of it's going to be weird but definitely walk with Zarya here for you keep packs on doom play around hardcover that's what we're going to have in this coming game all tracking shatters blocking hooks things like that so let's get started and see what we can do here all right so let's start out so we're gonna be running playing on some hardcover here. We're definitely gonna be running some hardcover. I feel like a lot of low rank brigs, um, like don't like to use their shield for some reason. Like y'all use your shield, like hold up your shield. But, like y'all don't like using your shield. I like that we're walking around though. Okay, we're getting too far out, too far to the cover. Girl, we gotta get next to a wall. Really just here, like when you're, when you're up in here on this high ground, like just walk next to a wall. Like you don't even need to walk out in the open. Like we don't necessarily need to try to go for inspire here with all their damage they have. We don't necessarily need to walk to try to get inspired when they have the McCree, Ash, Hog hooks. There's a lot of range damage. If you're going to throw a whip shot, you're going to be taking a lot of damage. And if you miss it, you could potentially die very easily. Playing pretty wide here. We're doing this is in, throw some packs on him. Oh, we missed. Oh my god, this is so much happening right now. Wow, there's so much happening. I like that we're playing around the corner. Nice whip shot on the Rhine. See, here goes your Zarya. You're walking with your Zarya. Like that, like that, like that. I got dynamite. I'm liking the defensiveness, though. Back Doomfist. We're looking around for Ana. I keep that's Q2. We can definitely take some more space here. Take some more space here. Play a shot here. Big. Oh my god, this is just... I'm, I'm not really seeing any mistakes here. Nice stun on the Reinhardt. We're still playing nice hard cover. <laughs> It feels so slow. We could have gone for probably a stun there, but that's okay. Honestly, not too bad. We played the card there. We played nice and defensively. We stayed out of their high damage and their high poke, which is pretty good. If Ana's on cart, we can push forward. Okay, good. Ana's on cart, we can push forward. So we have shatter, or they have shatter. So we need to be watching out for that. Really, can you get the high ground? Let's go take the high ground. No? We're gonna at least try to take the high ground. That's fine. Oh. Oh, we're definitely on console. That is very slow turn. <laughs> yeah, we probably actually couldn't have taken high ground. So here we're going to be taking Shatter. We're going to get ready to use Rally here. We're definitely going to use Rally. They have Shatter. Let's be watching that Reinhardt, watching him so that he can't Shatter us. Oh, I like you keeping an eye on that Doomfist. Really good here. Okay, probably now it's a good time to Rally. We want to Rally. Let's see guys with Shatter. Okay, we got a little spread out here. There's too much happening. At least if you still kill the Reinhardt. We got a little spread out here. I could tell that we, you got a little like confused. You were like, uh, this, that, the other. I think you could have just gone with your instinct over here. As soon as that Bob came out, like just like rally to me. You could have easily just rallied to me. You would have started giving your Ana some armor. I don't even think you needed to necessarily turn around for the Bob. If you knew where he was, you could have just stood on the other side of the cart and still been ready for the shatter. Lucky Hilly, he still missed you. But this is way too late. This is not a sound barrier. This is not a transcendence. It takes a little bit of time for Rally to actually get some value. So it's a, this is a bit late of a Rally now. Try to keep your Zarya alive with throwing a pack while you're swinging on that Reinhardt. Is that Zarya going to live? Yeah, she's going to live still. Would have been good if you got that bump or that boot there on Roadhog because um, probably would have killed him a little bit easier. Fine though. Get back on that cart. Can I use Shatter? Don't have to worry about that now. 
We still let's let's get a reset of our things. We gotta keep our our like hues and stuff going here. We're gonna keep trying to play with Zarya. They use Shadow. We don't have to worry about that. Block some hog hooks. They still don't have anything really for us. They have Doomfist now. What the heck? There's a Reinhardt behind us. Okay, you probably didn't want to wake him up that early. You probably also didn't. I think you you were wanted the Shield Bash him, but your Ana hit the Sleep Dart, so it was kind of unlucky. You probably didn't need to make him up that early though. I know he's on the card, but. Okay, this is definitely console. Nice hit on the Doomfist though. Oh no, we didn't get our shield up. We didn't get our shield up. That was, oh, what just happened? We didn't get our shield up quite in time, girly. Look at this, right here, this hog, just out in the open. That is just, this is a direct sign of a hog wanting to hook you. You have your shield up. You have 250 HP on your shield. I'm telling you, you guys gotta use your shield more. I don't know why people don't use their shield enough. I only like basically walk with my shield unless I know that there's just, I need to move faster or something like. Oh, I really hope you weren't trying for a whip shot on him. Okay, now let's reset our brain again. They still have Doomfist now, so we gotta watch out for Doomfist stuff. Uh, they're probably pretty close to Shadow again at this point. Probably will have it mid fight or early next fight. They're on 73% right now. Nice pick up their hog. Nice. Oh, nice bottoms with the new fist. Good stun. That was perfect. Nice to lay of him. You probably just can start walking on the point with your team now. Okay, so the goal right now, you have 83% to rally. We just kind of want to not be going too aggressive. We just want to get rally so we can finish out this point. The monkey's taking a lot of damage. Okay, we're not going too far. Crap, we're up staying in the oop for too long. <laughs> okay, there was that shatter. Um... I think I have something to say about this, though. Okay, so you have the points. So I think if you were going into that fight, knowing that there was a shatter coming, you and you knowing that you probably wanted to get rallied to win this, you probably just could have like hard focused the Reinhardt because their Doomfist was probably gonna go do something. You got luckily they weren't on the high ground, so like we'll take that. But really, like you probably wanted to be like, okay, I'm going in this fight. I need to get rally. And they're gonna have shatter. So let me hard focus this Reinhardt so I can like 1v1 him and then be ready for the shatter, stun him, and then use rally. Because I, even if you block the shatter, I don't even know if you actually would have needed it, but like, you used it because you got shattered. You used it well, like as soon as you got up with, from the shatter because you were like scared of like us to take that fight. But if you were, if you went and like watched him, it might have been like completely fine. You might have been like okay to be like, okay. Because he's charged this line right here. If you were focusing right there, if you. Probably could have like known about the shatter and then not needed to rally. I thought you would have been able to kill him right here. He's living for a long time. But you would have been able to live for him right there. It's okay though, because you still won the fights. That's just like a little like it just seems like you're kind of using your abilities and your stuff like with no really purpose. We gotta have some purpose with our stuff and why we're using them, because that's really gonna make it like have the most value. Be careful about throwing whips on a hog when you know if you don't know if he has hook. Good stun on the hog though. We wasn't gonna live that anyway. That you probably could have stayed on the high ground again here. Probably would have been better for you to stay on the high ground. In fact, you could you would have gotten your Mercury alive. I know you want to play with your Ana, but you might not. You don't necessarily need to play with your Ana. And always you can drop down. You can always drop down off the high ground rather than like getting up on the high ground. So if your Ana was getting dove, you could have dropped down and threw packs. But now they're on Monkey Zarya. They're on Monkey Zarya now, so they do have Monkey, but they're playing double bubble. So make sure that we're being patient with stuns if the Monkey's gonna dive you. That was out of order. That was out of order. Out of order. You were too far away for the shield bash anyway. You should have whipped him before you threw the shield bash though. First thing to done, you're like one you're like one millisecond away from that sh the the pack down there. You're like one millisecond away from that. But you should have thrown a whip first because that would have that would have stopped him from like probably getting any further damage on them because they would have been displaced and they wouldn't have hit your Ana. So first throw away the armor pack if it would have came up in time. Then whip and then the shield bash once you got close enough. Your Ana hit the sleep dart though, so it's kind of not well, lucky. Careful with high charge, sorry. Don't be afraid to use that shield, girly. Oh, we're going really close. Oh, we're going in really far. Use that shield. Uh. Uh. Um. <laughs> um. What do I say about this? I feel like that was just kind of bad game sense. Like you went in here. I'm taking damage. I think you went a bit too aggressive. This was a bit aggressive here. Like you see your Zarya here, which is fine. But you kind of went like inside of the bubble too, which we don't really want to do, you know. We don't really want to be going inside the bubble. And they used him anyway, so you 
And we're not using our shield at all. Like, we're just not even using our shield, like, at all. I could use some healing. And that monkey went after you. Yeah. Uh, that was more your fault than your honest faults. I, I just think that, like, a bit more, a bit aggressive now. Probably want to switch now anyway, since they're on the monkey now, to switch away from walking with Azaria and start walking with Diana. Throw packs some range. We need to go high ground here. Dorado is all about high ground. All about it. You need to get on the high ground. Anywhere is all about high ground if you can. But they're going to have visor. They're going to have visor. They're going to have stuff. Y'all, you have blade. So when your Genji goes into blade, you're going to want to pack him from range to keep him, just to keep him alive. That's a good hook. That's unfortunate. He jumped right out though. Don't forget you just shield Moira orb so it doesn't do extra damage to you. It's still doing damage to you. <laughs> oh my god, a girl is going to die to one more orb. I like this high ground. Love this high ground positioning. I know you're not with your Ana, but that's okay. Look around to see where your Ana is. Where? Let's see where she is. I would be up here right now. Be like, where's our Ana? Be like, okay, our Ana's over there. She's in like an okay position. Here's our Zarya here. Wait, is that our Zarya? No, that's the enemy Zarya. Here's our Genji. I, I feel like just this positioning right here like is really isn't bad. You can always back into this hallway. You can pack the Genji right here. Pretty good positioning, honestly. I do like this. Your Ana should be up here with you. Nice poop off the Moira. Uh, I don't think there's a point dropping here. There definitely was not a point dropping because now you're taking extra damage. Oh, there was no point dropping, girly. Yeah, there was no point dropping. You should have stayed up there. And then even like you could have waited for your next boop. Is there soldier still on the high ground? The soldier's still on the high ground. So you could have stayed up there and tried to boop the soldier off once the shield back, or once the whip came back. Then you could have booped him off and had more space because that soldier wouldn't have been up there doing all that extra damage. So I think if you just kind of stood there on the high ground and waited, you always could have just backed up into the mega room. There probably wasn't any kind of real space that you were going to take by dropping. Even if your team push forward, you still should probably stay on the high ground for as long as you could. Okay, they're going to have grab now. They have a lot of alls. They have grab. They have visor. They have rally their own. They have pulse bomb. Be careful about pulse bomb. We're starting to get to a Nanoblade. I think we're trying to get Nanoblade. Even though we're still going to Nanoblade, still throwing packs on Genji when he's going to Blade is good. Still like this. Let's go high ground. Let's go high ground. Let's get the Ana up on the high ground too. Get Ana. Ana, can I come high ground base? Like, with me or something? I hate that. Look, this. Oh. Okay, that's fine. Uh, nice packs on the Genji. Does he live? Nice. Let's see how this goes. Oh, she got antsy. Kill that break. Pack your Genji. That's fine. I mean, that's an okay rally. I, uh, how many alts did you use? I use one, two, three, four, five alts. Use five alts. You probably shouldn't. You probably could have saved. You probably could have saved. Just think about Nanoblade. You'd be like, okay, we're probably going to win off Nanoblade. And if we don't, then I'll rally. But it wasn't this bad. Okay, Tracer's in our back line. Almost hit him. Throwing a bit too many armor packs there. Throwing a bit too many armor packs in the Ana. She was already full HP, and that Tracer wasn't anywhere near. We didn't need that second armor pack on her. Many, that's for somebody else. Okay, something you can actually do here. You know how when you hold up your shield on Brig, you can actually go into third person? You go into third person. Now you can actually... She, I use my shield sometimes like that, and I actually use it to look around corners. So I could have been standing right here on this corner and probably hold up my shield and suddenly you could see around the corner. Oh, you would know Tracer's right there. You would have stayed right here around this corner. You would have shielded on the wall right here so that you could see around the corner. And then if she gets too close, you immediately go out and stun her. So you would have known you would have been ready and she wouldn't have even seen you because you would have been like shielding that corner. And as soon as she gets too close, you go shield bash. That was the what, probably what you wanted to do here. Don't forget that you can do that with shield bash because that's a quite a powerful thing to gain some game sense. But instead you didn't really know where she was and now you're losing the 1v1. You didn't know where she was, and so you missed the shield bash, and now she's kind of blinking around and getting damaged to you. Okay, we're turning away from the tracer. Girly, you got 200. You had all your shield left. Why aren't you using your shield? Please use your shield. Okay, sorry. Um, but also, you backed up in the wrong direction. I, I think you were trying to, since you were taking damage, you were trying to get some inspire from the team. But since you turned around, you just kind of like made it so that their inspire is like 15 he like healing per second. Like Tracer is going to easily out damage that. Like here, you just need to survive with your shield. You had 250. Either Think about this. You had a 250 HP shield, at least 200. Or you had inspire 15 healing per second like you were definitely gonna win way more or live lay way longer just holding up your shield here let me watch this a bit slower so i can kind of explain it so we shield bash on the corner instead we miss 
We go for a whip shot, which I would have done too, but we missed that. At this point, you at full shield. You at full shield. Hold it all the way up. You're on a heals you once. Just keep holding that shield up. You got 70 heals left today. No, 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 no. Don't, oh, don't turn around. Don't turn around. And look, you're already too far out. You're already too... It's so... It's such little things on Brig. I know it's so small, but the small things are the biggest things because we don't have a lot of mechanical skill on Brig. It's the little things. You're so far out from the wall right here. And because you're so far out in the wall right here, look how much distance you got to walk, really. You only got 70 HP of that shield left, and you missed all your Inspire stuff. So we need to be like, when we backed up and we hit that Tracer, just like literally hug this wall and like, blub, blub, blub. And suddenly you're behind a, you're behind another wall, making it so much harder for this Tracer to hit you. But instead, we're kind of out here in the open. We have to cover all this extra distance, and we still turned away anyway. Still no shield. Uh-uh, the shield's got to go way up. Oh, the shield's got to go up. Honestly, since you missed that first one, you're probably just, you needed your Ana to heal out. Your Ana's carrying right now. But your Ana's right next to you, isn't she? Like, she could have easily, if you held up your shield here, I bet you, I bet you if you held up your shield here for that 70 damage, you would have lived. Even though you're in this horrible position in the middle of nowhere with no walls, I bet you you would have lived if you held up your shield instead of going for another whip shot. Using that shield is so powerful, girly. It's so powerful. I promise you. I promise. Use that shield more. Use that shield more, girly. Use that shield more. Do we still win this? But now this Tracer has free reign. Tracer has free reign on this Ana. How that team does. You killed two of them. Y'all should have won this fight. Y'all, you all could have easily won this fight. We're back on Lucio though to get to back fast, which is okay. Be careful of this maid. You could boop this May away. Remember, you can boop Faze with Lucio. Oh, oh, we booped the Zarya on the other side. Okay, keep booping the May. Keep booping the May. Don't let her do anything. Don't let her freeze her ball. I guess just stay on the healer. You could actually kill the Zarya, maybe. Oh my god, you're full health. I hear the Tracer behind you. Might want to help your Ana a little bit. Not sure if you can, honestly. You have 70% to beat already. Could you actually live here and get beat? Just keep that heal. Amp the heals again. Amp the heals again. Use your abilities. Amp the heals. Okay, there we go. There's a blizzard happening. Where's that at? Okay, we just need to live and get beat here. Oh no, we just need to live and get beat. Oh no, we just... No. Unlucky Sinai. I bet you if you, if you could have stayed out there, you could have actually gotten beat. I don't think you would have won that anyway, because they just had respawn advantage and stuff. <laughs> oh my god, excuse me. So going over what we've done in that round... We still need to be here. We need to be using that shield, girly. We need to be using the shield. Shield is so. I'm telling you, if you go back and watch the brig guide, that's why I have. I have like 3k damage amp per 10 shield. Wait, 3k damage. I'm not playing mercy. I have 3k sh damage blocked with my shield per 10 on brig. I block so much damage. I'm always walking with my shield. That shield is so important. Make sure we're standing near walls. Still all tracking. Otherwise, it doesn't seem that bad. The positioning's not super bad against that tracer 1v1. It was kind of rough. But it could have easily been fixed with like moving two feet to the right and using your shield a little bit more. And I, I swear you would have lived so much longer. You could have distracted that tracer so much longer from getting damage. You know, it's always not guaranteed that you're going to win the fights like that. But you're going to up the chances of you winning by doing as much as you can. Okay, we're on defense here. So we still need to play high ground as much as possible. It's, this is Dorado too. So high ground is actually so important. Let's get it going, girly. Okay, so they're playing Ryan Zarya, Tracer May, Moira Ana. You're playing Ryan Zarya, Soldier, Hanzo, Brigana. So you need to be careful about the bubbles right now. You can still poop the May a little bit. Oh, they're on? Yeah, they're on Tracer. Okay. You can block some of that Tracer pretty much from doing a lot of stuff. But it's not going to be your, like, ne number, necessarily number one goal. You're just going to want to stop her from doing damage. You don't want to necessarily completely go after her, remember? But you're only be playing aggressively. Play with your tanks here, though. This is definitely play with tank game. I like that you're looking at the Tracer, though. Could have probably shield bashed that. Ah, 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 what the fuck? <laughs> this actually wouldn't have been a bad shield bash. You're inside your team here. Like, you could have gotten antsy because their team was also there. But this wouldn't have been a bad shield bash. But you, yeah, yeah, you probably would have gotten blown up anyway. But you might have been able to kill the Rhine. Playing Brigand, this kind of sounds rough. But it's still winnable. It's still possible. Both your DPS are up there on the high ground. Uh, I don't know if there's too much you could have done there. Okay. Let's go high ground. I don't care about anybody over here. I do not care about it. I don't need this Hanzo. Uh-uh. We need to get on the high ground right now. We need to get on the high ground. Stay on the high ground. Try to get some whip shots off and throw armor packs. So you're going to get so much value. No, 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 no. Back up. Back up. 
Back up. Go high ground. No, 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 no. We're in the open. We're in the open. We need to be on the high ground right now. Nobody's on the high ground. This is so bad. So crazy. A little slow on the shield bash time. That's okay, though. No. I like you going after this tracer, but don't push into the air. We don't want to push into her. We just want to stop her from pushing into you. Oh. No, 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 no. We're going a bit too aggressive here, girly. You could have done the you could have done the shield bash thing again, or not the shield bash, but the shield looking around the corner again. You could have third person and have looked at that, but you didn't even really need to. I w I would have just stopped this tracer from coming into this door right here. Okay, she's right here. That comes with all tracking, you know. We gotta all track the show the. the boss bomb. But instead of like like the thing is like you as a support are not a dps like you don't have to go out and try to find kills you know that's the dps job so like with you not going out and just stopping their tracer from going out and killing things like that's how we're getting value like we're not going to actively kill people with brig they're gonna have grabs we want to play separate of our tanks we need to go on high ground right now oh we need high ground let's not go too hard on this tracer right now we could do the shield bash thing or the shield peak thing on the corner mine's already over there anyway so it's fine be careful about standing with the tanks now. They have grab. They basically have grab. We're looking around for our team. I like that. Oh, that's unlucky. Ron got into dead. There's the grab. Okay, this is not trans. This is not a transcendent. Might be able to kill this Reinhardt though. Get my shield bash off on him. We did not shield bash him. Use your shield, girly. Oh, that's the so one lucky. Use your shield get out of there. Oh, get out of there. No, the wrong direction. Where are we going? We are not playing on covers at all. She didn't watch the brig guide. She didn't watch the brig guide. Uh, okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, no. So we're here. We missed that stun on the Zarya. We just need the shield and walk out here to the left. We just got to walk out here to the left. Boom, 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 boom. Just hold up your shield the entire time, facing them, walking out of here, and then suddenly get around the corner. And then you live. We're trying to do so much out of our, out of our stuff and like hit every single ability, but it's just putting us in bad positions and putting us with bad stuff. So you put, if you lived here, you could push right back out with Reinhardt. Let's try to hit our Doom out if he's gonna go in. Is that Doom going in? Throw a pack on him? No, okay. That's super unlucky for Ana. Oh my god, those Arya's nanard. Be careful. See, like there, you could have done like the shield peak thing and then thrown a whip. I like that though. We need to get out though. We need to get out. We need to get out. What are we doing here? We went for a shield bash! Oh, don't forget we could use shield bash as the movement ability. There was gonna be way too much pressure on there. Your your Ana was dead, so you have no pack up there. You're not with anybody, you're by yourself. At least play on the left side of the cart, so like you can like kind of go around there. You couldn't back up there at all. So you just probably wanted to use shield bash to get out rather than to like try to shield bash for like one second and still have the Ryan's already kill you anyway. Because actually it's kinda of going back and forth now. Like if you could have lived this, like you were gonna get so much more value. Let's try to reset our brain, even though this is kind of still fight going on. Let's try to reset a little bit. You know, be careful. Zarya using our shields. We're going way too far out in the open right here. Why are we so far out here? What are we doing? There's a Zarya high charge. Why are we shielding? What is up with not using a shield? See, we we're kind of getting into the baffling of the fight now. There's so much happening that you've kind of forgotten like the core things of Brig. You know, you're like, okay, we still gotta play around the corners. We're still wanting to play with our Ana to keep her alive. We're gonna throw armor packs on the ranged healing and just try to keep our DPS alive and stuff. You know, we're kind of trying to go out there and do something we're in the midst of the battle it's really hard like I'm, i promise you once you kind of like ingrain these core things into you like it's just gonna make your gameplay so much more disciplined and distinct compared to other people that it will make you climb you gotta remember it's like it's great to get in the habit of doing this between each fights and like as you respawn you know like okay respawn they got this alt maybe they're probably gonna have that alt. so i got a position here now they have monkeys so let me play with our ana and our, or with our zen you know that's kind of like how it's gonna work but instead we were just kind of like we're getting very hectic and we were very frantic about like what was happening in the situation and be like oh we need to go here we need to go there we need to do this we need to like stop down we need to shut down everyone that we can like it's you you can't spread yourself out too thin you gotta have all your value focused on the one area instead of going it out and spreading it out so wide because that's not gonna get you value on brig so overall let's go over a few things we need to do we need a little bit better positioning make sure we're playing on some cover some walls we kind of lost that we who we were walking with he started walking with zarya which was kind of okay but then once they switched to die we wanted to be playing more with our ana in Ryan zarya we probably also want to be playing with our Ana because it's a bit hard in the front line there with the zarya and the reinhardt 
Don't forget to use our shield bash as movement. Um, I think your rallies actually weren't horrible. Your rallies weren't that bad. We were using them nicely to go aggressively. Might have been a little bit over alting sometimes. Just to hit tab if you like, okay, we're gonna nano blade, so let's not use rallies, save it for next. But those weren't bad. And just don't forget to all track if you can on the enemy team. But overall, I think that was like not bad. That was definitely definitely some room to improve. Definitely could have been could have up your chances by playing a little bit better, but not bad overall. Kind of proud of you. You're doing great. You're doing amazing, but definitely um Brig is a defensive hero. Let's not forget that. Okay. <laughs> All right, y'all. Thanks so much for stopping by. And I hope you really enjoyed this video and learned a lot. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a like if you really like this video. Also, click some of the socials down below. Definitely join the Discord. And also, come by my night Twitch streams at twitch.tv forward slash holy shift kid. You can learn more by watching me and by talking with each other and kind of having a great time in chat. So, I'll see y'all later. Thanks so much for watching and bye.